there's teaching, this is why we need to practice on a regular basis self-deliverance. Lord, deliver me. You got to go on what? You got to go on a fast. You got to begin to pray and see God. Say, God, I see this in me. I'm going to go on a fast. And I'm going to bind the spirit that's trying to rule over me and dominate me. I don't want to be that person. And this is what we have in the body of Christ. You have so many leaders who have not gone through deliverance, and then their, their demons begin to what? Their demons begin to manifest while they're preaching. Amen. And you look at what in the world. I ain't trying to receive that. Something else is in operation. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. So watch this. Matthew chapter 7, verse 20 says, Therefore, by their fruits you will know them. Now, the spirit of Jezebel, as you know, could be a man, a woman, or a child. It's a spirit. Now, you've seen kids act up in a grocery store, and they, they, they're mad and have a temper tantrum because their mom or dad won't buy something, and then they get aggravated, they get even more madder until their parent does what? That parent gives in and gives them what they want. They have started at a young age in what? A Jezebel spirit. Always judge a person by their fruit. Watch the fruit. Watch their character. How they portray themselves. How they're living their what? Their lifestyle. Not by their words. Not by their gifts. Not by how they excite you when they're preaching or how they are singing. Watch their fruit. What did I say about her? I watched her fruit. I listened to her fruit on the phone. God told me, listen, all that we got have been dealing with me, there's going to be like a breakup between you. Between me and her. The friendship. I felt it all week. He always will let you know. So it just doesn't come to like, boom, like, oh, I can't believe this happened. 